The Trojan War was a legendary conflict in Greek mythology between the Achaean Greeks against the city of Troy. The war is one of the most important events in Greek mythology and it has been narrated through many works of Greek literature, most notably Homer's Iliad. The core of the Iliad, books 2 to 23, describes a period of four days and two nights in the tenth year of the decade-long siege of Troy. The key to unlocking the historic Trojan War, in my opinion, is to first identify who exactly the Trojans, the Amazons, and the Achaeans were in history, because these were the major players in the Iliad. In my previous video titled, Historical Troy was in Eupatoria, near the Amazon city of Themyscira on the Black Sea southern coast. I talked about the alliance between the Trojans and the Amazons during the war, and how close was Themyscira, the capital of the Amazons, to the city of Troy, which I identified as Eupatoria, just 65 kilometers away from each other. In that video, I concluded, based on Homer's descriptions, that the city of Troy must be located near the conjunction of two rivers, namely Iskamander, which I identified as the Iris or Yesilamak River, and the Simois River, which I identified as the Lycus or Celtic River. And Eupatoria, just like Troy, was located just south of where the Lycus flows into the Iris River. Both Eupatoria and Themyscira were near the southern coast of the Black Sea in Turkey, in a region also known as the Pontic region of Asia Minor in northern Anatolia, Turkey. Coincidentally, there was one historical confederation in the Armenian highlands and or Pontic region of Asia Minor, and this was the Hayasa Asi Confederation, which was in conflict with the Hittite Empire in the 14th century BC, as dated by historians. The exact nature of Hayasa's and Asi's relationship is uncertain. They are generally thought to have been a confederation of two different kingdoms in what is now northeastern Turkey. In this video, I will be discussing the Hayasa Asi Confederation, which I believe to be the Trojan and Amazon alliance during the Trojan War. The capital of Hayasa Asi is unknown, but its main fortress was Ura, possibly located somewhere along the Kelkit River where its confluence with the Yesilumak River is where I believe Troy was located, as I mentioned earlier. Musili II was the third-born son of King Sukidulyuma I, one of the most powerful men to rule over the Hittite Empire. Musili assumed the Hittite or Hatti throne after the premature death of Arluwanda II, who, like their father, King Sufi Lunyuma, fell victim to the plague, which ravaged the Hittites shortly before Mursili's reign started. This plague was intentionally brought by the Hittites against the Arzawans from western Anatolia in what is described as the first known record of biological warfare. Mursili's year 10 solar eclipse is of great importance for the dating of the Hittite Empire within the chronology of the ancient Near East. I gave the exact date of the solar eclipse in my previous video titled Redating Mosili II's Solar Eclipse to August 2, 979 BC means Hittite chronology is 334 years too early. The text records that in the tenth year of Musili's reign, the sun gave a sign, just as the Hittite king was about to launch a campaign towards the kingdom of Hayasa Azi in northeastern Anatolia. Musili's exact words were, When I marched to the land of Azi, the sun god gave a sign. 
I believe this campaign of Marsili in his 10th year towards Azi corresponds to the 10th year of the Trojan War. And according to the Iliad, sometime during the 9th year of the Trojan War, the god Apollo sent a plague sweeping through the Greek armies. I believe instead that it was Morsili who used the plague devastating his kingdom as a biological warfare against the Achaean Greeks like what he did to the Arzawans. Historians unanimously agree that Morsili was marching against the land of Azi to destroy it. I beg to disagree. In my research, Morsili was marching towards Azi, which I believe to be the Amazon, in order to join forces with it in defending Hayasa, which I believe to be Troy, against the invading Achaean Greeks. Allow me to explain. During the time of Tudhalia, the grandfather of Morsili, Tudhalia sent his son Sophie Luduma, the father of Morsili, who was a Hittite general then, in order to defeat Hayasa Azi. The Hittite campaign resulted in the conquest of Hayasa, for subsequently, Sophie Luduma established it as a Hittite vassal state after drawing up a treaty with Hakana, the current ruler of Hayasa at that time. When Sufi Luluma had become king himself, Hakani or Hakana proceeded to marry Sufi Luluma's sister. After this marriage, the Hittites and the Hayasans, which I believe to be the Trojans, became allies. Although it is not recorded in history, after their military campaign against Hayasa, I believe Tudhalia and Sufi Luluma made a similar campaign against Azi or the Amazon, resulting in the conquest of Azi and making it a Hittite vassal state and ally just like Hayasa. The kingdom of Hayasa remained a loyal Hittite vassal state, but in Mosiris' seventh year, the lord of Azi, Ania, raided a Hittite border region where he transported its population back to his kingdom as a war prize. At this point, you might ask, if Azi was Amazon, then why was it ruled by a king named Ania instead of a queen? Since I believe Morsili's tenth year corresponds to the tenth year of the Trojan War, it follows that his seventh year was also the seventh year siege of the Achaean Greeks on Troy. However, the Achaeans did not only besiege Troy during this 10-year period, they also besieged Troy's allied kingdoms which included the Amazon. During the first nine years of the Trojan War, Achilles and Ajax were the most active of the Achaeans, leading separate armies to raid lands of Trojan allies. According to Homer, Achilles conquered 11 cities and 12 islands. Amazon, which I believe to be Azi, was one of the allies of Troy that was raided by this military campaign and that the lord of Azi, Ania, was Achilles, who temporarily became king over the Amazons. According to the Greek warrior Tersites, Achilles had been in love with Penthesilea, the then Amazon queen. An alliance between Achilles and the Amazons against the Hittites may have resulted through Achilles' love affair with Queen Penthesilea. In a battle outside the city of Ganuvara, the invading Achaeans who took control of several Hayasa Azi cities were decisively defeated by Morsili's general Nuvanza and would never be a threat to the Hittites again. This took place in Morsili's ninth year, which corresponds to the Trojan War's ninth year. Thus, just before the tenth and final year of the Trojan War, whatever gains the Achaean Greeks achieved over Troy and Troy's allies were reversed by the Hittites under Morsili and his general Nuvanza. In the five-book epic, Ethiopis, which was part of the epic cycle or cycle of Troy on the Trojan War, 
the coming to Troy of Penthesilia, Amazon queen, and Memnon, king of Ethiopia, must describe in detail. The main character of the epic is Achilles, who fights Penthesilia and Memnon before he is himself killed. This happened shortly after Patroclus, a dear friend of Achilles, was killed in the war. The heliacal rising of a star was witnessed just when the funeral pyre of Patroclus fainted and died down. This was two days after the death of Patroclus. Iliad, Book 23, Lines 226-229 to But at the hour when the star of morning goeth forth to herald light over the face of the earth, the star, after which followeth saffron robed dawn and spreadeth over the sea, even then grew the burning faint and the flame thereof died down. The heliacal rising of a star or a planet occurs annually when it first becomes visible above the eastern horizon at dawn just before sunrise, thus becoming the morning star after a complete orbit of the earth around the sun. Historically, the most important such rising is that of Sirius, believed to herald the coming of summer. Using Stellarium and by setting the algorithm of Delta T to Chapron, who's Chapron, 1991, the date to August 4, 979 BC, or negative 978 in astronomical year numbering, at 058 UTC, the location at 41 degrees, 22 minutes, 54 seconds north, 36 degrees, 39 minutes, 37 seconds east, which are the coordinates of the mouth of the Yesilimak River, where according to Homer, the Trojan War battles were fought, one will see the heliacal rise of Sirius. This is just two days after Mosili's solar eclipse, which was visible at the mouth of the Yesilimak River on August 2, 979 BC at 2.31.30 UTC, or just 17 minutes after sunrise. This eclipse happened just when Mosiri was marching towards Azi or the Amazon to join forces with the Amazons in helping Troy fight the Achaeans. This historical eclipse also marked the day Patroclus died. The following day, August 3, 979 BC, when the Trojan prince Hector was killed by Achilles, Penthesilia came to support the Trojans. She had a moment of glory in battle, but Achilles eventually killed her that same day.